We focus on manifestation, but sometimes it can be a difficult situation. A handicapped child, a divorce, bloody house, children with problems and tears. How do you, how do you deal with that and focus on the, the desired situation? Uh, it's a very it's a very true question. You know what uh, what is not true is that because you learn how to consciously create that you avoid uh, anything uh, uh, that is is not what you desire. You know that that's not true. You, you don't, uh, there, there's a lot of misguided ideas that are, oh, hey, uh, well, if I tune into my end result and I learn how to manifest, I'm only going to attract only things that I desire all the time. The, the problem with that premise is that we, we don't, we wouldn't actually like that. We wouldn't actually like that. I think if humans were, and just those of you alive, let me know if you agree, if humans were just given everything they want without needing to strive for something or overcome things, I think we would be um, intimately uh, uh, bored. I think we'd be bored. I think we'd be bored. I and, and the reason why I think that is when I look at what humans are obsessed about, we're obsessed with adventure. We're obsessed with overcoming situations. We're we're obsessed with uh, with creating, and we we don't love stories of people just having it all. We don't love two sports teams where one team just completely dominates the other team. We like there to be uh, they like there to be a challenge, something to overcome. So, the first thing is we must understand that as creators, we stay in our end result of creation, regardless of our current circumstances. Does that make sense? Regardless, we're, we're in our end result. And we acknowledge that on our journey to creating what we love, uh, there, there's going to be times when we're moving towards what we love and it's, it's feeling really good. And then there's also going to be times where, where we're not. What happens is our, our focus can get taken off it. You know, just like this question, hey, our, our folks can get taken off and, and we, we go and, and we make it personal. So, you know, uh, yeah, I have a few multi-million dollar companies and, uh, and yesterday my, my dog spewed on my carpet <laughs> and, uh, and it made a big stain and I had to clean up that spew. <laughs> and it didn't matter how many staff I have or, or money that I have or, you know, focus that I have, my dog decided to spew on my carpet. And we've got this very organic do uh, dog food. And uh, so it has turmeric in it. And, uh, uh, and, and so it, it made a nice sort of uh, yellowy stain as well. And, uh, and, and that, that happened, eh? And, and so, you know, you, 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 in creation, you, you have to understand that, yes, there is going to be upset child. There is going to be things, other things that are happening. And, and your job is to rise above it. Uh, as the alchemists say, we rise above. We rise above and, and then we refocus. It, it's when we give uh, extra attention to, oh, I'm such a, you know, a bad person because, uh, you know, I don't have this or, you know, I'm so terrible because of that or this thing. And we, we make it personal. We, we try to control everything. So, so it's arriving at every moment the same. See, uh, you know, when you, when you access the wizard's gate and step into the, the uh, magnetic moments, when, you, when, you're in the, when you're in phase with creation, uh, you, you know, the, you're the same. You're the same. You know, you're, you're just the same. There's, there's stuff happening all around you, but you're having your own internal victory. And I think Viktor Frankl, with his search for meaning, you know, he really was able to, to discuss that in his work and, you know, talk about how you can rise above any moment and you can find your own meaning because the one thing that uh, cannot be taken from you is your choice and your state of being. And, and that's true alchemy is a true paradise is, is arriving at it first and being being here first. And that is something you, you can control. So, so I really, I really love the question, hey, and it says, you know, the question we, uh, but there will be difficult situations. So how, how do you focus? How, how do you, you focus? Well, the first thing is, is to, is to understand that that doesn't mean you're not being a, a you're being a bad manifester or something like that, you know, that's the first thing is not to create narrative around the current reality. 
and, and also not try to work the whole thing out. Like, why is this thing happening? Why has he cheated and left me when, when I'm tuning into creating a relationship? See, we, we always try to working it out. And so the, the one question is, where, where is my focus right now? Okay, so the answer would be, there's, there's one question, well, where am I focused? Am I, am I focused on my end result? Am I focused on what am I creating? Or am I, am I focused on how I'm unable to have it? Am I focused on how everything's going wrong? And, and, that, and that's a question. You go, okay, well, if it's that, well, then, then why is it that I'm making that more important than my end result? Why is it that the upset kid or this, why is that stealing my focus to, to creation? We, we, we live in a problem solving reality where everyone thinks that you must become fluent in your problem in order to solve it. And uh, it's, it's just not true. You don't, do not have to become fluent in it. You do not have to understand the problem. You just need to understand what you're creating. And, and in the nature of creating, um, many times you don't have that which you didn't want. Yet, if you focus on what you don't want, you become entangled with it. Uh, you, you know, you, you become it. So, hey, really good question to start us off. You guys agree? So, so, so you know, th there's always going to be speed bumps, hey? There's always going to be speed bumps. There's always going to be things happening. And we want it. We want it. Uh, you know, as we're growing our business, uh, you know, I always have to remind everyone, hey, we chose this. You know, just recently, I decided to turn the advertising up on our, our business and really start start growing it. Uh, we were spending about $100,000 a month on advertising. Now we're spending about $400,000 a month on advertising. And, and with, with that has come a huge amount of people into our programs. And with having a huge amount of people coming into our programs and our businesses, well, then there's, there's a lot more work, there's a lot more things, and then there's, there's a lot more people that are super happy, a lot more people that need help, there's just a lot more. And at other times, you know, you'd go, oh, this is overwhelming, but, but we chose it, you know, it's like, this is, we chose this, we want to impact the world, we want to do more. And so, so remembering that you chose it, you know, you, you chose this, this is, this is your journey, your experience.